Hello my soccer universe. The World Cup final jersey matchup has been uh, revealed or has leaked as for the third place matchup, which was not that big of a surprise. And so I thought I can do my, you know, final uh, review of the jersey matchups starting from the quarterfinals onwards uh, in here. Talk a little bit more about related to uh, the jerseys in the final, namely, where will the third star go, which is always the most interesting debate. <laughs> and uh, I also want to mention, I thought to make this video worthwhile, let's uh, also look at uh, some of the jerseys that will not feature at this World Cup at all, that were released for this World Cup, which I think is always interesting. I have been actually going back and forth. What jersey should I wear in this video? I don't want to wear Argentina. I don't want to wear France. I don't want to show any, you know, jinx anyone, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in the end, I said the only jersey that I feel actually quite comfortable wearing is probably Austria because I am from Austria and that's the least um, offensive one, if you would like. And, you know, I'm not giving away. Also, red is a color that is not very prominent in this World Cup. And as we know, in World Cup finals, there has only been one team wearing red winning a World Cup final, which is England. However, there have been teams that have been wearing red in the final. I know for sure Hungary in 54, I think also in 38 and in 34, the Czechs have been wearing red. I think in 62, the Czechs were wearing white. But even if they were wearing red, the red is not a successful color in a World Cup, so that will be interesting. But before we talk about the World Cup jersey matchup, I actually thought it might be a good reason to rank the eight matchups that we have been getting and will be getting from the quarterfinal onward. Um, and I think I will maybe do at the very end of the World Cup, I will do one where I talk about my favorite matchups so without further ado let's go in and i want to actually start up top this time for a very good reason and you can already guess it pro probably but we'll start up top my favorite jersey matchup from the quarter quarterfinal onward had to be england frost uh I a, it was not entirely expected because I could have seen England all white and France in all navy. I was so happy to see it this way. I think that the French kit and the English kit worn this way wonderfully complement each other. Yes, one may say that the navy of England and the navy of the France top aisle is a little bit jarring and there's also a little bit blue, but I honestly have to say I absolutely lo lo loved it. Whenever France are playing in their first kit, um, blue, white, red, especially in this installment where it is so uh, a sober look, but so strong with the golden accents, it's just gorgeous. And even here, I'm coming around to that. I think I like the Indian kit much better with the blue pants um, because there's at least it connects, it kind of frames the body in a way. So, this was my favorite matchup. Number two is a similar looking one um, and we'll talk about more about this is the Argentina against Croatia matchup. Um, while I was not happy that Argentina are wearing white pants, I was very happy to see the Croatia away jerseys finally being used. I think they are really, really nice, although I have to say on the right shoulder, it's a little bit too washed out, uh, but you know, I understood here that Argentina has to play all in white here uh, because then it's a better look because 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 you would uh, say Argentina play with uh, black pants and then Croatia is with white pants. I think this would a uh, look mismatched and so I think it looked much cleaner this way. And I have to say it's overall a really nice look, largely carried by Croatia this one. But I have to say I really really enjoyed that one. Number three on this list is actually Morocco against Portugal. And I gotta say, the more I see this Portugal jersey, the uh, away to away jersey, the more I like it. I especially love the way that they put the number in the green box. This is a, a really genius placement of the, of, of the number. But also I think the yellow and green of Morocco is a really nice combination. We have the yellow and green also in the Portugal um, kit in there. Again, it's probably uh, if the Portugal kit was then trimmed either in red or in green, might look a tad better. But I think I also like the off-color color, color white and the navy. 
Still have problems with the overall jersey, but I think as a kit matchup, this one looked actually really, 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 really nice. In at number four is the other semifinal matchup, and I gotta say, um, while I was happy to see both kits in a tricolor matchup, and I, I love tricolor kits, yeah, I really do. I actually found this would have been near the top of my list if Morocco would have worn instead of the red their white jerseys. I think this might have this might have looked even even better than uh, the red and the um, blue. Which honestly, I'm I'm fine with a red versus blue being worn, but it got a little bit too. Um, it, it was almost a little bit too jarring. I think it would have been a cleaner matchup if Morocco would have worn white. But credit where credit is due, FIFA have been really allowing that home kits take absolute priority, and the away kits are only worn if there is an absolute need for them. So in that sense, I loading the matchup. Uh, as I said, it was a little bit surprising, it was a little bit hard to look at, but I didn't mind it at all. In at number five, and now we're going or, already to the most that I didn't like. Um, well, and it's the point, we are supporting home kids. I think that the uh, Croatia-Brazil one, while not looking bad per se, I think with the um, white jersey of Croatia, the yellow of Brazil, I would have liked Brazil to play in their away jersey kind of in an all blue look I think this would have looked a little bit cleaner because the yellow of Brazil is so bright and so light that yes uh, you can make a difference overall in this day but I think the contrast would have been better in the blue kit I also think it would have paired off much much better with the Croatia kit which already has blue numbers and you know some slight blue accents to see this reflected there so I thought this was more of a chance missed especially since Brazil were anyway wearing the blue away socks so I thought this was really why not go all out blue I think it would have looked a little bit better um, yes in history I think the two times Croatia and Brazil have, have met they always have played this way uh, but in both cases, Brazil were the home team and Croatia, I think, uh, requested to be wearing their uh, home jersey, which was then granted. Yes, it gives contrast, but I think it could have been better in this case if Brazil went with all blue. Then we're already moving to number six, one of the more disappointing ones for me. Uh, the Netherlands already in all orange. I love the Netherlands in orange, but I think their kit in all orange does, doesn't look uh, good. Uh, I prefer it with white pants, but even with black pants, give me a little bit comfortable because, because the orange is a little bit too much in your face. But then what I really didn't get is, why are Argentina wearing white pants? Yes, it's a white against orange, but you know, already the orange kit for the Netherlands is the bright one. Then you have the uh, all bright for Argentina. While again, it did not, you could clearly distinguish the teams and so on. I think Argentina wearing black pants here would have looked a whole lot better and a whole lot more classy. And my favorite kit matchup in 2014 was exactly Argentina against the Netherlands, uh, where Argentina, who had an all white kit with blue stripes, but uh, let's call it all white kit. Uh, actually wore for once black pants out of the blue because the Netherlands were not going for the all orange orange look they very wet they went for the home look and it looked glorious. I really don't get the white pants here. But more on that a little bit later. You already see we have six in and we have only the last two left and honestly those two are the ones that I like least. Um, I, we have already seen the third place uh, kit matchup in the uh, group stage. It's not great, honestly. Yes, I get it. Uh, there is contrast there, but I think there's almost too much red on Croatia. I think Croatia in navy blue. Uh, yeah, we could not make the same arc, our, our argument that they did it with France. I just think it might work better. I was not. I'm. I'm not very enamored with this one. However, uh, the worst matchup, unfortunately, for the last eight matches is the final matchup. And it is not because of the jerseys. They are wonderful. It's just in the entire kits. It's so disappointing and galling. Argentina playing their all-white look against France in all navy. I don't get it. I really do not, not, not get it. In 2018, and again, 
one of my favorite jersey matchup in 2018 was France against Argentina. Where France played in the tricolor outfit in Argentina with black, uh, the home jersey with black pants and white socks. It was a symphony for the eyes. Why we are not getting this in this final, I do not understand. I can see one argument for it. Yes, it's cleaner. We have all white against all uh, navy. But I honestly have the feeling it has to do and uh, with, su with superstition. And me being a fan of probably the most superstitious club team out there with Milan, who only play in their white jerseys and China Files, is maybe a little bit uh, tough to say. I really feel that either Argentina or France requested for the all uh, unicolor kit. Why? Argentina have been now winning twice in a row, more or less convincingly, I guess, um, in their all white kit. So maybe this carries them forward. Or on the other side, France said, yeah, we were world champions last time around in all navy against a Croatia team that was also in an all white kit. Yes, with checkers and, and, and somebody was majority, majority white. One of those two, I think, messed it up. Otherwise, I have absolutely no reason. It, it is really galling because I think both kits take a significant step down if you go uni colors. I think the France kit in all navy looks bland. Paired with the white and the red, it looks glorious. I cannot tell you how disappointed uh, I am. It might not be the worst matchup. It looks will probably look uh, pretty much the same as the Argentina-Croatia matchup. However, I really find it rather, rather disappointing. That it's a, a World Cup where I barely had any qualm with uh, jersey matchups. In, in, in the opposite, I think this has been a great resurgence of great jersey uh, 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 kit matchups. I should not say kit matchups. Except for the um, Brazil against Cameroon, that was the only one where I really was questioning, what are you doing? That we have a final that does not reflect that is really, really disappointing. But again, I think it's down to superstition. I don't know who it will be, uh, who requested that. I honestly have the feeling that one of the teams requested to play in a uh, unicolored outfit. Disappointing. Really, really, really disappointing. Um, so, yeah. For the All Navy look, though, the All Navy look is unbeaten in World Cup finals so far. But there's only a sample size of two. That's the decision I can tell you. This is just, just BS. But Spain and France both won in an All Navy outfit. Overall, Blue has a pretty darn good record uh, in finals. I think the only ones that I can think of that have lost in Blue are uh, Italy in 94 uh, and 70 and of course Argentina twice uh, against Germany but other than that blue kids usually fare very very well in a World Cup final so just have that in mind as well. Another discussion, of course, is uh, not only will Nike or Adidas issue a three-star shirt, but I think for me the more interesting, the more pleasing uh, thought is how to replace the third star and I want to argue, while I think it would make intuitive sense to have the three stars next to each other for either one of these. I actually think that especially for France to make uh, them in a nice triangle might make it look even better. And it, actually for France, I think it would even make sense because you would have the solitary 98 one and then you have the 18 and the 22 just below it. Uh, and I think it will fit nice, nicer with, with the crest. For Argentina, so let's, uh, if you see here, I think if you put here a third star, I think this could really, really nice. I mean, space it out, out, out a little bit. I think it would fit, uh, fit much nicer, although you have the triple FF. So I can see that you make three stars here as well. But some part of me says, put it up there. And in, in addition, you don't have to print many more new kits because you can take the kernels and slap a star on uh, up front. But I actually think for the France kit, this would work. For Argentina, since you have a flat top on your crest, I think going with three stars across would actually make sense, I would say. But you know, 
It's just some minor discussions, but I think it's really, really interesting. And of course, most of you have, have seen how Brazil would have placed a sixth star where I still maintain uh, probably the 3-3. The three, three. But there was an interesting one where they had also kind of a triangle arranged. I think uh, going a little bit more for triangle, especially for three, could look good. For four, I would actually go flat again or uh, curved, I think, like Germany has been doing it. And I want to end this video, a uh, little bit of lengthy video, with the jerseys that we have not seen at this World Cup. Just going through it, there were some really nice ones. I don't think we have really missed the Ecuador away. I was glad to not see the Netherlands away. I really missed the England away, to be honest. Also, the Wales away would have been nice. It would have been nice if those two teams would have played in an alternate matchup when they met. The Mexico away, we almost would have gotten. Mexico was a goal away. A goal away to wearing this one against France. That was a shame. Uh, Poland away, it's a really nice jer uh, jer jersey, but it always felt that Poland would not be able wearing it. The France away, um, I think I was very happy that we, the France all played in Navy. I think I'm very happy with that, although I don't mind this jersey at all. The Black Denmark we didn't need. I missed the red Tunisia and I would have loved to see the green and gold, but um, not gold. I, that was always an outside shot to be honest. Uh, yeah, the Germany away would, would have been a nice one, but the jersey matches would, uh, the, uh, the matchups would have had to fall uh, this way. But you know, um, I can live with Germany not. I really, it's sad that Japan could not wear their away jersey. The pink one better, they have not no one. I think the Belgium um, away should have been worn against Croatia, who also should have won their away jersey. I think this would have made for another really excellent matchup. And I don't, I'm fearful, sorry, that both of the Cameron alternates were not worn and the Ghana alternate also not so bad that it wasn't worn. I would have liked to see the Korea away, especially against Brazil. This, this, this would have looked actually quite interesting. So yeah, another short talk video. Please let, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the World Cup kit matchup? It's disappointing, isn't it? In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!